Peyton Manning decided to come by um, and speak to uh, the New York Giants, right? Yep. And talk to them about game planning against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, if you told me that Coach McAdoo specifically invited him to come into camp uh, or to the training facility and sit down with the offense and the coaches and walk through game planning on how to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, I still don't love it. But if that's not the case, like if you're McAdoo and you're essentially an offensive coordinator, right? And that's, that's where you made your bones. And with Sullivan, you're in charge of this offense. And I'm sure you're not thrilled with how the offense has performed over, overall, right? Yeah. Based on expectations. Like... What do I need Peyton Manning telling me how to how to craft an offense yeah. to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers? Well, he's not he's not telling them anything. He's probably giving them a little tips. One of the reasons that Peyton's in is because today is the March of Dimes luncheon at the Waldorf Astoria, and he is being honored oh, okay. at that at that luncheon. That's why he's here. Um, I would think that any opportunity that you got a chance to have somebody like Peyton Manning come to your team, you take it. You, you take it, and you let. Look, all those kids in that in that group of uh, grew up watching him, right? And uh, obviously Eli, his brother, and everything else. So when Peyton goes in there, and as Sterling Shepard said, he said, you know, don't take anything for granted. I'm paraphrasing. Right. Don't take anything for granted. Take every day for what it is. Appreciate your teammates. Appreciate you know what you're going through sure. because it's going to end sometime soon. Uh, and nobody loved it more than Peyton Manning did. Uh, I think that uh, carries a powerful message. So, and it's a positive message. So, what's wrong with that? No, I'm, it's just—it's weird to me. Like the head coach is an offensive coordinator. Yeah, but now, I know have, it's Peyton Manning and Eli's brother. Yeah, but brother, you have to understand. You, I know, but you have to understand. There's nothing negative about it. You have to understand it. something. I Pey, like, Peyton Manning is an offensive PhD, and he knows every single team and everything about every single team. Right. And I'm sure that they have some plays, or he had some plays that. When he was getting ready to play the Pittsburgh Steelers, whether it be with the Denver Broncos or the Indianapolis Colts, because the Steelers essentially are the same team running the 3 4 defense right. and all that other stuff, there were plays that they had specifically designed to attack that defense. And I'll tell you what, as a former quarterback, if I got Peyton Manning coming in, giving right. me some plays, I'm taking them.